بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ السلاۃ والسلام علیہ رسول اللہ ٹوڈے ویل بی سینگ اباؤٹ دی ایویل ٹریز سو دا فرسٹ تھنگ ٹو نوٹ اباؤٹ دی ایویل ٹریز از دیٹ ایویل ٹری از اے ٹائپ آف بائنری سرچ ٹری نو واٹ ڈز اے بائنری سرچ ٹری مینس بیسیکلی سپوز کنسیڈر دس ٹری وی ہیو تھری نوٹس اے بی اینڈ سی سو دا پراپرٹی فار بائنری سرچ ٹری از دیٹ دا رائٹ ایلیمنٹ ٹو دا روٹ نوٹ شوڈ آلویز بی گریٹر دین دا روٹ اینڈ دا لیفٹ ایلیمنٹ to the root should be less than the root node meaning b less than a less than c b is the leftmost element so it should be less than the root which is a and then the root should be less than c which is the rightmost element so this is the property for a binary search tree so avl tree is a type of binary search tree but it has some additional condition that is it has a concept of balance factor the balance factor for a tree should be in the range of minus 1 0 1 now what does a balance factor basically means so what balance factor basically means is balance factor is equals to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so whenever you have a tree so a tree has a number of nodes on its left hand side and on and on the right hand side on the left subtree and the right subtree so the height of left subtree minus the height of the right subtree will give us the balance factor and that balance factor for an avl tree should be in the range of minus 1 0 and 1 now based upon this balance factor we have a number of operations to be performed to balance the tree so these are the rotations which we perform to balance the tree those are ll rr lr and rl basically this ll and rr rotations are one rotation meaning only we perform only one rotation to balance the tree and we have lr and rl rotations here we perform two rotations to balance the tree now we'll be looking at in general terms how this lr and uh, remaining rotations are to be applied so here is a general concept for an ll rotation so this is a tree this is the tree which we have which we already had that is a b c and d and now we are inserting an element to the left side of d so i have indicated that with a dotted line so this is the element which is which is to be inserted and it is less than d that's why it is being inserted on the left side of d now when we after inserting e when we calculate the balance factors for this tree for e it is 0 because it does not have any children for d the left of height of left subtree is 1 and the right sub it does not have any right subtree so 0 so 1 minus 0 will be 1 so the balance factor for d is 1 for b the balance factor is 2 minus 0 so the balance factor for b is 2 so because of this balance factor we are getting an imbalance now whenever we are getting an imbalance we stop at that node and we move two steps downward to find which rotation we need to perform now the imbalance it has occurred at b so we go two steps below b so when we are going two steps below towards the element which is inserted so we are going towards e from b so we are going left and then again left that's why this rotation has been named as ll rotation because the balance imbalance has occurred this at this node and when we are from this node when we are going to the inserted element node we are traversing on the left side and then ag again on the left side so this rotation is ll rotation and one thing you need to remember is we perform opposite operation for this rotation for example this is an ll imbalance so to balance this type of trees we perform a right rotation so to to balance perform one right rotation that is at this node we perform a right rotation so after performing a right rotation see here we have we had b on the top and d and then e so we are performing a right rotation so basically when we are performing a right rotation d goes up and b comes down so that that's what hap that's what is happening d goes on to the root position of this subtree and then b comes on the right hand side of d and d is left e is the left side of d so this is the ll rotation and one more important thing is whenever an l we can also identify the ll rotation based upon the balance factors suppose here we here we are inserting the element e so the parent of e is d and its grandparent is b so if the balance factor of parent is positive and the balance factor of grandparent is positive if both are positive then we have, we will be having an imbalance of ll type for that we need to perform a right rotation to balance that now coming to the rr rotation 
now here the imbalance is occurred by in, suppose we are inserting an element e and now after inserting this element we are calculating the balance factor so balance factor for e is 0 d is minus 1 because it does not have any left sub tree so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and c is having balance factor of minus 2 because it does not have any left sub tree 0 minus 2 so that is minus 2 so here minus 2 it is out of the range of minus 1 0 and 1 so here we are having an imbalance so now from this node we go towards the node which is inserted that is e so to reach e we are performing uh, we are traversing on the right side and again on the right side that's why this imbalance is named as rr rr imbalance and to balance this type of tree we perform a left rotation so at this node we perform a left rotation which basically sends d to the root position c will become the left side of d and e will be the right side of d so to uh, Im to balance the rr imbalance tree we need to perform one left rotation and here the balance factor of the parent will be negative and the balance factor of grandparent will also be negative so if both the balance factor are negative then the imbalance will be rr imbalance and we need to perform one left rotation now coming to the lr, LR and rl rotation these are two rotation imbalance meaning we need to perform two rotations to balance the this type of imbalance trees now coming to lr suppose we are inserting the element e and this element e is greater than d so we are inserting it on the right side of d now we are calculating the balance factor for e balance factor is 0 for d it is minus 1 and for b is it is 2 now we are having imbalance at this node so from this node we are going to the inserted element to reach the inserted element we are traversing first left and then we are going right that's why the name of this imbalance is left and then right left lr imbalance and here the as you can see the balance factor of the parent node is negative and the balance factor of grandparent is positive so when we have this type of balance factors then the imbalance is lr now to balance these type of trees first first perform a left rotation at parent then second perform right rotation at grandparent so what does that mean is first we need to perform a left rotation at this d meaning we need to perform a left rotation basically what does mean what does that mean is e will come on the top and d will come below the e so this is the left rotation which we have performed and then we are performing a right rotation so after performing the right rotation e will become the root node of this subtree b will be the right side of right child of e and e d will be the left child of e so this is the lr rotation in lr rotation we are performing two rotations first the left rotation and then the right rotation now coming to the rr rl imbalance so he, here the element to be inserted is e and e is on the left side of d now after inserting we are calculating the balance factors that are 0 1 and minus 2 again we are having imbalance here minus 2 is out of the range of minus 1 0 and 1 so now we are from this node we are traversing to the inserted element so we are going right and then left so that's why it is named as rl rl imbalance now to balance these type of trees first perform right rotation at parent second perform left rotation at grandparent so first we are performing a right rotation so here we are performing a right rotation a right rotation sorry this this way so e will become the root node and d will be the right child of e and then left rotation so e will go to the root node c will be the left child of e and d now we will take an example we will take an example to see so these are the elements which are to be inserted this you need to form an avl tree using these elements so first we are inserting 10 and the balance factor we are checking that is 0 so no problem then 5 as 5 is less than 10 it will be on the left side of 10 then 12 as 12 is greater than 10 it will be on the right side of 10 again 15 15 is greater than 10 and greater than 12 so on the right of 12 again we are calculating the balance factors that are 0 minus 1 and minus 1 so here we don't have any imbalance then when we are inserting 19 19 is greater than 10 it is greater than 12 and it is greater than 15 as well so it will be on the right hand side of the 15 now when we are inserting this now we'll calculate the balance factor this is 0 balance factor this is minus 1 this is minus 2 
this is now we are stopping at here because we are Im Im having imbalance at here so the imbalance here is minus 2 and now we are traversing from this node to the element which is inserted so basically we are going right and then again right so the so the imbalance here is rr imbalance now to to balance this type of tree we are performing a left rotation so 15 will become the root node of this subtree and 12 will, the, will be the left side of 15 and 19 will be right side of 15 so this is the rr imbalance now again the tree is balanced we need to again check the balance factors so all the balance factors are proper then we are again inserting the next element which is 14 so now 14 is will be inserted uh, at the right side of 12 because it is greater than 10 less than 15 but greater than 12 so it will be on the right side of 12 now again we need to check for the balance factors which are 0 minus 1 1 and minus 2 so here we are having imbalance now from this node we need to traverse two levels towards the inserted element so we are traversing right and then left so this is rl imbalance because first we are traversing r right side and then left so this is an rr rl imbalance so to for a rl imbalance as we have already seen first perform a right rotation then perform left rotation so first we are performing a right rotation so at 12 we are performing a right rotation so 12 will, will go to the root node and 15 will be the right shield of 12 and then here we are performing a left rotation again so 12 will go to the top node so 12 will become the root 10 will be the left shield and 15 will be, will be the right shield then we are checking the for the imbalances all the imbalance factors are correct so we are then then inserting 13 and after inserting 13 13 will be on the left side of 14 so we are not having any imbalances so that will conclude the insertion of the avl trees assalamu alaikum